since the first episode I've done um, reacting to CJ the champ, I mentioned for some reason, like, why the hell is there a damn truck in, like, the table that they're at? The Black Air Force Energy table that... I was like, what? Why? <laughs> and then, like, I would just see a bunch of comments like, oh, she don't know what truck coon is. And I'm like, the frick is that? I, I, I no, I don't. Apparently there's a damn video on a damn truck. But yeah, I'm gonna watch it. This seems weird. I don't know what the hell I'm watching. And God okay. literally stopped time and said, like, it was so bad. God literally stopped time and said, Hey, listen here, little kid. Yo ass is about to get blasted. But I'm a real Is it just that they get hit but by trucks? I'm gonna have to isekai yo ass real quick. Oh, you know how to think about it. Freaking animes get. Um, yeah, anime characters get hit by trucks a lot. Oh, oh, is this the video? <laughs> Why did it take me so long? <laughs> ah, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to talk about menaces. Now, in anime, there's countless of menaces out there. I mean, we got niggas like Kid Boo, Madara, Broly, Pain, Dopey, Kaido, Aizen, motherfucking wow. Griffin. Like, we could go on Broly. Pain, Dopey, Kaido, Aizen, Wait. motherfucking. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm like, I don't know about Deku. There is one. One being that stands above them all. This being has terrorized anime since the beginning of time. It has taken Facts. multiple and it's taken multiple bodies. But yes, I am talking about the Isekai sending machine himself. Truck Coon is the biggest menace in anime history. I mean, yo, this truck is out here smacking niggas. But well, what does this have to do with Isekai? If it seems such a savage, it has zero emotion, so it doesn't give a fuck. Sometimes you wonder, is there even a driver back there? Is this an evil version of Optimus Prime? Like, did my nigga defect to the Decepticons or some shit? <clears throat> but I've seen some of your comments, and some of you have said, Truck Coon deserves to be in the round table of Black Air Force activity. I know some of y'all probably thinking, don't tell me this nigga's really about to make a Black Air Force energy video on a fucking truck. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Shit. Uh, how do I put this? Uh, I, I, I don't give a fuck. I, Let's do it. Uh, I, I don't give a fuck. I believe it is time for an unexpected trial. So y'all already know I got the evidence on deck. And we will see yeah, I gotta know. I gotta... Reality. Understand this a little bit more, guys. To the, round table of Black the DBZ Air music. Energy. Find out today on Black Air Force Energy. V. Is <laughs> there? Shit, COVID. Whew. Uh, exhibit A. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce y'all to our first victim. Meet Sakura Minamoto. Now, on this day, Shiroko very happy about to start her second year of high school. Now, it is early as hell. It is like 7 in the morning, and she is so energetic. Okay. She is as energetic as my dog. Super energetic, and she's about to she, die. And it is a beautiful day, but she had no clue what the fuck was about to happen to her ass. That she was going to die? And then boom. <laughs> Tragic. The shit out of ass. This <laughs> motherfucker hit her so Bro, hard. she it just literally five different times at five different <laughs> Oh times gosh. Different types of speed. Now we all know in anime, if a nigga hits somebody and it replays multiple times, you know damn well that was a hard ass hit. Damn, you hit that nigga so hard. Like the finishing blow, my nigga. Like he <laughs> sent this bitch flying, and, and she is dead as hell. So fucking dead. Like she came back as a fucking zombie, nigga. I ain't gonna lie though. Back when she said this line right here, she said that she's kind of a klutz. And I mean, shit, she was not happy because this girl is a dumbass. Who the fuck just goes out into the street without looking to the left or the right, my nigga? Like, it bitch, looked like she just like left her that. house. Like, it, like it doesn't Parents even look you that. Kid, honey. Look both ways before you cross the street. Like, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? Stupid as hell, you deserve to get hit by that goddamn truck, goddammit. So after she became a zombie and everything, she had to think in her head, all right, I learned my lesson. Look both ways before you cross the street. What, every freaking isekai starts with, like, a truck getting hit. Yo, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> that's so true. That's why we call him truck -kun. Oh my gosh. My I've God. never heard of this. Last 
Genuinely. Who do I? Wow. That's actually amazing. see nobody in this seat, right? I mean, even though this guy gets out right here, where the fuck was he right here? Same thing the first time he hit her. Where the hell is the driver? Bro, I am telling y'all, truck who is a deity. Anyways, though, moving on. Here's victim two. Take a look at this poor little innocent girl. Now, she is just out here in ah! talking to her big brother. But little did she know. She what was about she just... to be out here enjoying her day talking to her big brother. But little did she, know, she was about to become Truck Coon's greatest hit of all time. Really? Why? <gasps> I don't want to see this. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yo, the nigga didn't even slow down. This truck hit this little girl harder than EDP on the prowl. Like, my god, bro, her body is gone. Like, my god, bro, that was a one way ticket to the damn shadow realm. Like, she got isekai real quick. It's look flat. At him, bro. He, like, what the fuck just happened? <sighs> but my god, yo, this is just another dumbass kid that did not listen to their goddamn parents. Look, little nigga, look both ways before you cross the street. She didn't learn yeah, yet, though. Well, problems. she learned now. But CJ, look, the light turned green. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. Look both ways before you cross the goddamn street. Listen up, kids. This is Listen, she got the right away. Parents. You get fucking isekai. But I know some of y'all probably still like, but CJ, the light was green, so she had the right away. Okay, fuck you. Yeah. I got a theory for you, nigga. So listen up. Hell <laughs> yeah. What if Truck Coon put this girl in a Genji suit? What? Ah, hear me out, damn it. So listen, 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 why is she the only one that goes out into the street? And everybody out here Good point. Like, Even the brother. What is this bitch doing? What if the light was red for them and it was green for her? So that's how Chuck could come out into the street to get fucking annihilated. Hey, hey, but you know what? That's just a theory, though. But I just want y'all to see the carnage of Truck Coon. How he blasted this girl into three pieces of meat, Connie style, nigga. And then some nigga like, call an ambulance. What the fuck is an ambulance gonna do, my nigga? She is dead as hell. And then look at all y'all at the funeral, sad and shit. I hope y'all learned a valuable lesson. Look both ways before you cross the fucking street. Or Truck Coon's gonna come out of nowhere and put your ass to sleep. Like, bro, this is a problem in anime. Like, niggas don't even know how to look both ways, <laughs> look before, both ways the before you cross the street. street or Truck Coon is coming. <laughs> put you to sleep. <laughs> Dumbass. Motherfuckers. Oh my gosh! Why would they? Blasted. Gone. And she had to just. But you know it. what, though? That car could have, like. I don't know, man. They could have swerved a little bit, like. <laughs> and just be traumatized for the rest of her life. Like, I guarantee you, in the future, she's gonna have PTSD of Truck Coon. But, anyways, yo, uh, that's Exhibit A. Like I said earlier. That was only Exhibit A! <laughs> Look both ways before you cross the street, or else the East That was, was like a three part special. It was like a three so, course uh, meal. To, uh, exhibit B. Oh my gosh. Now we all know Truck Coon is known for sending people to different worlds. But we're gonna talk about Truck Coon's That's so cool. crazy. Crazy. Duh. Now, all three of these deities have Isekai three notable protagonists Truck Coon Isekai Rudius, Tractor San Isekai Kazuma, and Train Chan Isekai Tanya. Now, out of these three deities, I haven't the watched the any of those shows. Now, when Kazuma died, we all thought, oh shit, he got hit by a truck trying to save some girl. Wrong. He died of shock. Pure shock. The nigga didn't even touch him. Tractor Son literally killed him <laughs> just by his presence being there. You know what this reminds me of? This wow. reminds me of when Shanks pulled up on Whitebeard's ship and he was so damn strong, niggas were passing out because they couldn't withstand his presence. Like this nigga has conquerors hockey. Tractor Son has <laughs> the will of D, my nigga. I mean, look at the fear in his face. The will like, of my D. God, yo, this might be one of the worst deaths in anime history. And then we can't forget about Train Chan. The Train Chan uh, Isekai. Train. Herself. What? We can't forget about Train Chan. Train, train Chan. Chan. Isekai, the menace herself, <laughs> Tanya. That is a feat that we cannot ignore. Like, Tanya has a very, very. I never watched. The table. And Train Chan Isekai the bitch. Like, it was so bad. God. Yeah, Lord there's a good amount Tanya of train deaths. Hey, listen here, little nigga. Yo ass is about to get blasted. But I'm going to reincarnate you, though. But. I'm gonna have to isekai your ass real quick. So yeah, that was exhibit B, the isekai exhibit. And it is finally time to move into our final exhibit. Oh my gosh. Exhibit C. 
No, nah, I you think this is, is no this is this is like the but ultimate menace. Sometimes Chuck doesn't even have to kill them. Sometimes Chuck Coon just likes to get characters a little scared, such as this little nigga in Eraser. <laughs> now, as we Lesson see, the learned. driver is asleep. Obviously, that nigga Chuck Coon put his ass asleep and yeah. took over the wheel because he said I'm trying to catch another body today. So Chuck Coon almost blasts his kid to oblivion. But Satoru comes to the rescue and saves the kid. But even though this little kid got saved, you can see the fear in his eyes, the fear in his face. This little nigga's going to be traumatized for the rest of his life. But what if I told y'all the kid wasn't the target? What if I told you that Satoru was the target? See, Truck Kun knew Satoru was going to be a protagonist and help this kid. So he took advantage of that. He said, fine, I won't kill this little nigga. I'm going to kill you. So Satoru grabs onto him as planned. Then Truck Kun beautifully assists his ass no. to goddamn Karsama to finish him off. Karsama! My God, that was a curry type of sis right there. So Chuck Kun accomplished two things in this scene right here. He absolutely traumatized oh this little my nigga gosh. and sent to the past. But there's one last thing that Chuck Kun did that is absolutely insane. And we cannot look over this. Y'all remember when Yusuke was getting chased yeah. down by Truck Coon? Like, this motherfucker was out here blitzing Yusuke, bruh. Oh, my no. God, bruh. Look at the fear in his eyes right now. Nigga probably having PTSD from the first episode when he got hit. Yeah, I remember oh, that. Like um, I think I only watched a few episodes. Here we go again. All right, so I bet Truck Coon was thinking, all right, so the car failed to do the job. So, fuck it. I'm going to have to hit the nigga myself. Like, look at Truck Coon's What the hell? Why does he got targets? This nigga was determined to end Yu Yu Hakusho early. Motherfucker's like, you should be dead. I'm just here to finish the job and correct the timeline. You are an anomaly, and you shall be eliminated. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, Chuck Kun is a divine being that watches and sits over all the anime universes to make sure everything goes according to I, I think it's accurate. Honestly, okay, really I'm convinced. Because the ultimate mechanical life yeah. form has entered the round table of black and yeah. activity. Like this nigga. It deserves God. it. Like he literally goes into each yeah. patrolling looking for stupid niggas to I run think the God fuck is over. accurate. I mean, Truck Coon is the anime Shinigami. He is the god of death. I mean, no wonder yeah. when he wrote this man's name in the death note, Truck Coon came and cleaned his ass up. Like just knocked yeah. the nigga off the floor. No warning or nothing. So make way, this nigga is here. So yeah, uh, that's basically it. I mean, we got some more candidates uh, sitting in the waiting room, but we'll get to that in another video. But today, I just hope we learned our valuable lesson. Look both ways before you cross the street, or else you'll end up looking like this. A little bit better than the little girl looked. <laughs> this is a lot. Wow. Listen, she died a very uh, graceful death, if anything. <laughs> Look at her twirling. <laughs> it's kind of a, a masterpiece, if any. Uh, uh, how come I never thought of it? Yeah, I just assume, oh yeah, here's another freaking car death, truck death. You know, happens in every <laughs> anime, you know what I mean? Every other anime I watch, it's like that. It's like, um, how else are they going to die, I guess? <laughs> Have them be hit by a car. That is so crazy. But I like the conspiracies he's in. Okay, I'm kind of obsessed. Thank you guys so much for recommending that. I just like cultured myself in anime knowledge. And I can't believe I didn't know this earlier. What the frick? All right. Um, like this video so it could boost that algorithm. You know what I mean? And make sure you check out CJ the Champ. First link in my description. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed.